Okay, so this is what we've done is we've just announced the touchpad last week. This is running WebOS. WebOS is a full multitasking operating system. So each of these cards you have here is an actual application running. You can organize them any way you want. So if I just tap on it, I can bring it over here, drop it on top of my email. So I can organize stacks of information, sort of akin to paper on a table. I may have, I may have important data that I want to stack and keep for later. Um, here in Barcelona, I've been using it to go to sites like TripAdvisor to find restaurants, pull up Google Maps, store all of those pages in one place. And then later tonight when I have to go find it, I just go and re go to that one stack, have everything I looked at earlier organized neatly so I could find where I need to be for dinner. And hopefully I get a reservation. <laughs> we also have, just going through different applications, so you have things like Amazon. So we actually have a full Kindle reader that will work on the device. This hooks into the standard Kindle system. A lot of what we're trying to do as HP is get to your content. We're not trying to be the people that own it. So if you have a Kindle reader, you're halfway through a book, you come here, log in with your Kindle account, you can pull the same content, start in the same place that you left off. So it's definitely integrated with your life. Other things we've done with WebOS, we have a great notification system on the smartphones. Um, when we come to the tablet, we get a little bit more space. So we have something called stack notifications. So as I have multiple emails or SMSs coming in, I see them all from this notification pane. I can dismiss them individually so I can triage email, even not being in the email app. So I can be doing, whether I'm browsing the web, whether I'm reading a book, see everything coming in, look to see if I need to act on it. If I don't, just tap off it. I still see something's there, but I don't have to, I don't have to deal with it if I don't want to. Same way phone calls coming in or any other data that we're working with. Some of, the, some of the areas we looked at that we wanted to expand upon when we brought it to the larger screen sort of let WebOS stretch its legs a little bit. One of them is we redesigned the email app. So you can actually see all the accounts you have, and you can have up to 16 accounts. It's a mix of Exchange, Pop, Email, um, or IMAP. Um, you have basically can scroll through any of the folders or the email accounts. You see all the emails you have just individually on here, or you can actually just dive into the email. And given that everybody does it a little differently, we just tap on the handles if you want to go to a full view to see it. If you want to go back and just see either one or both of the panes, you just move around on it. Really trying to customize it for what you want to do. We also allow you to go through and for multi-touch, because it's or the multi-select on it, all you do is hit the multi-select button. I tap on whichever um, emails I'm interested in. I can move them to a folder. I can delete them. Um, really make it easy to manage your email accounts. And let's just go here and just start an email. I'll just respond to this one to show you the keyboard. Um, and the other piece, with WebOS, everything, because it is all the different applications, emails we treat as separate cards or separate apps. So I can have multiple draft messages at any given time. I can organize them however I want. Um, when I bring the keyboard up, really what we focused on with the keyboard, with the, the touchpad, is we wanted you to be able to do everything in one view. So if I'm going through here and I want to, um, let's go, we'll go out for drinks at six. You can type everything, you've got all your numbers, you've got all your letters. You don't have to go through and, and switch to different contexts. Um, we do have alternate keys really geared more for Excel. So I'm doing spreadsheet programs. I want all my mathematical keys. I want the numbers still. But our goal is you don't have to switch contexts every time you're trying to do enter a URL, enter a web page, enter an email. Everything's in one place. And we also looked at different people have different size hands. You can have a large keyboard, you have a small keyboard. Uh, makes it very simple for you to move around on here to have the different sizes on it. And just going through, I'll touch a little bit on the browser. So the browser is a WebKit browser. We support both HTML5 and Flash. So everything that you're, you're going through on it, it's hooked into our, um, we've got a dual core CPU. So it's a Qualcomm 1.2 gigahertz processor. So you've got great performance going through here and we use the graphic accelerator on it so your, your browser flies. Um, this device is, is um, Wi-Fi, so it's BG and N. Um, we will be coming out with a 3G and 4G version of this device after the launch of the first version this summer. But one of the key things we had, I and mean, with the with the um, WebOS products, we have the ability. We have something called Touchstone technology. We use it to actually charge the devices, so it's an inductive charging. So I know you have the camera here. If you went through and set it on the dock. You can actually charge, I'll, I'll move it back for you in a moment. It can charge both the landscape and portrait mode. And when you're coming back to it, one of the things we found is we wanted to make sure all your devices worked well together. So if I'm reading on my, I'm on the touchpad, I'm reading an article, and I've, I need to go to the Metro, all I do is I take out my pre, I touch it to the device, you'll see the little bit of ripples coming through. What that will do is actually transfer the URL from the, from the touchpad, actually let me show you about it, here we go. 
transfer the URL from the touchpad to the pre, if it's paired. We'll see. <laughs> and allows you to go through and actually carry that web, carry that URL with you, or carry the web page where you were, and finish reading when you're on the metro. Oh yes. So also with the, um, we have a concept called Synergy with WebOS. So it allows you to take things like calendar, contacts, email. We integrate it so you're not using duplicates and you're not worried about whether it's your contact in Gmail or your contact in Yahoo. And we bring it to a single view. Yep. Lost my connection on it. So we bring it to a single view. Um, in terms of photos, what we've done is we've actually allowed you to view the photos that are on your device. You can scroll through whether the film strip or full screen. Or these are actually my Facebook photos. And what it allows, we allow you to go through and pull down albums from Facebook. And as you update your albums on, online, you will sync them down to the device. If you want to on here, we'll actually, you can do comments. So you can actually view people's comments on your photos and make new comments on them. Again, you can go through on here if you want to print them off. We actually hook into any of the network-enabled printers HP shipped in the last five years. And you also can hook into any e-printers. So really full control to manage, whether it's a photo, whether it's an email, whether it's a document. Um, and really integrate this device into your overall, um, overall life and all the systems you already have.